Hey everybody, it's time to introduce Gravity Tables, which is a pricing tables plugin for Gravity Forms designed exactly for it. It's going to help you improve the look and feel of your Gravity Forms checkout system. And so if you're using drop downs or radio buttons right now just to set up your plans, we want to replace it with a much more dashing appearance, much more bold look that's going to help. Uh, make a difference and, and sell more for you. So once you have the plugin installed, you're going to go into the pricing fields area. You're going to grab the pricing table field, and then I'm just going to show you how easy it is to set up. You know, we, we can choose from up to five columns, and there's color schemes, templates already built in that we can that we can use, and there's a lot of different options. One of the ways that Gravity Tables works is that it allows you to create plans in a central area of the site. So instead of them being created in the actual field, we're going to go into the area where we can create as many plans as we want. And what's cool about this is that we can like mix and match these plans and place them anywhere on our site that we want in any gravity form. So here I'm going to name one. Um, this is a service we're offering CV editing basically so here's the basic grammar and flow I'm setting everything up and I can um, you know adjust things as I need I'm gonna take the price here and I'm gonna put it down in the price plan uh, box and then I'm also gonna say what do I want the button to, to say and I'm gonna put choose there so uh, this one's done and let's create one more just so we can get an idea for what this looks like just like adding a new post, very easy and editable at all times. And once you change it, uh, it'll affect all of the different forms that you're using. Then, paste this in here, and then we'll do some cleanup. Let's put the number down again down in the pricing plan area. That's the name of the button again. So now we're ready to actually connect these to our form. So I'm going to go back to our form. Scroll down a little bit. I just I need to update first, so I just did that sure that it populates and so this is it it's ready for our different uh, plans so now I see the new plans in here I'm going to choose the ones that make the most sense to have a place them and we'll do a simple update and now it's time to preview so with the my form, it's a um, multi-page form, and on the second page is how is where you can see the actual output. So we see that even though we threw it all in a little paragraph box, you can see that it's taken them and um, and cleaned it all up. And what's cool is that you can choose one or the other as a customer. I can basically highlight uh, the form uh, the the plan that I want and affect the total, which is nice because. If I actually want to um, put this pricing table in the middle of a form or at the beginning um, or at the end, I can place it anywhere I want and it really gives a lot of flexibility. Once the customer chooses the plan they want, um, the other one becomes a little less uh, bold and a little more dim and also it gets a nice border, the one that you've chosen. Here's one thing that I want to show you though is, um, you know, these columns if we're finding that they're a little too wide, what's nice is that you can go in and adjust the max width. So they will auto adjust for the most part, but sometimes you may want to actually make them even, um, more limited in terms of the way they're presented. So here I've just put it to 200 and you can see, um, just go and put them back. You can see how nicely that is that I can basically adjust that uh, to make those more consistent with, with the design that I need. So I'm going to choose that one. That now is the total that I'm going to be checking out for. And if I wanted to, I could put this on a separate page um, if that's a better preference so that when I select that form um, and then go to the next page, that's the time where I check out. But let's also choose to do um, one more thing, which is just show you how easy it is to mix and match 
different plans um, across different uh, forms. So I'm going to create a new form here and I'm going to just throw in my fields here. I'm pressing to the field. That's all I need really is just one. <clears throat> and I'll just do a comparison. I'll just do the personal statement versus CV and let's do three columns this time. So I'm going to pick my plan here and let's pick a few different ones just to show you. And then also um, I'm going to change the colors just so you can see what it's like. You, know, you really have again that, that flexibility to um, keep plans uh, different. Let's say you want to highlight one as like the most popular um, you can do that and, and make one a different color so it's, it kind of stands out from the rest. And so here we are, we can see how nice those come out very easy and I could change those around, place them in all different orders very easily and quickly. Um, and so it really gives a lot of robust flexibility. So this is Gravity Tables. Check it out. It's really here to improve the look and feel of your Gravity Forms checkout forms. Uh, we use Gravity Forms heavily in all of our businesses. Many of you guys do, especially if you're a SaaS or you uh, sell e-courses, membership courses, whatever it is for you. This plugin is here to make your conversions better on your checkout and uh, lead to better sales. If you're interested, just visit restraintoapps.com and click on the Gravity Tables box when you get there. Uh, or you can just click on the link below this video in the description. Thanks so much.